in this episode, we introduce you to who and what we are here at HN. We take a look behind the scenes at our school production. We meet champion swimmer Callum Edwards, plus Sport and Council News. Welcome to Home Wolfson Network News. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Jessie. First up, let's take a look at a story we put together to introduce who we are and what we do at Hamilton Network News. H&N is a group of Year 8 and 9 students in collaboration with the Christchurch City Libraries bringing you Hamilton Network News. We created these stories so that our friends, family and the rest of the community know what's been happening. This is our way of celebrating our successes. We film the footage, we edit the footage, we interview the people and we bring the story to you. We get our stories from the school, the community, sports events, cultural performances and our academic achievements. If it's important, will be there. Each term we plan to bring you an episode jam-packed full of success stories, interesting news about the school, community events, sporting achievements and anything else that's newsworthy. Each episode will be online on a regular basis to be shared with you. Got a good story? Let us know at hormortonnetworknews at gmail.com so that's who we are and what we do. Keep an eye out for our next episode. It will be coming out soon. The senior students have been hard at work getting the school production perfect. Maddie Knights has the details. These amazing Year 13 students are putting together a Shakespeare production called Midsummer Night's Dream. This is one of the most popular Shakespeare productions on stage because of its large cast of humans, fairies, actors, mythical creatures, magic and action. Do I speak to you, fear? Or rather, do I, in plainest truth, tell you that I do not, and cannot, ever love you? My role is Helena, and she's a bit obsessed with Demetrius. I'm Demetrius, so I'm a, a rich young man who runs off into the forest after the girl he loves, and he gets followed by the character that Alicia plays, who's obsessed with her, I want to get rid of her. But in the end, of course, being a Shakespearean comedy, um, it all ends up happily ever after, and I fall in love with her after all. I like the fact that the characters get themselves into really ridiculous situations. Uh, there's a little bit of magic in it as well, which we've kind of given our own twist to, uh, and it's a great chance for the students to showcase their skills and play a major role in the production. Midsummer Night Stream is on from the 11th to 13th of August, so go check it out. The person who does drama lives a thousand lives, whereas the person who never does drama dies once. Well, looks like a great show. Make sure you check it out. Here at Homewarden, we have a lot of inspirational students. Next up, let's meet one of them. Kellen Edwards is a talented Year 9 swimmer, but there's more to this story than meets the eye. Let's meet him. Hey, could you please tell us the story of how you lost your arm? Okay. Uh, we were in a car, so we'd gone to get wood from a company and the trailer was overloaded, so the car flipped because of that and my arm got crushed underneath it, so it had to be amputated. And I was five at the time, and my brother was three, so he got uh, an injury to his arm as well. How did you adapt to swimming after you lost your arm? Yeah. Well, um, I just changed a few things so it came easier. So, for example, in my butterfly, I now breathe on the side instead of to the front. Could you please tell us a training schedule for the week? Well, I swim three times a week for 45 minutes with Selwyn, so in Ralston. And I also swim for an hour in Kaipoi with Parafed. Cool. Oh, where do you want to go with your swimming? Well, um, we're working with Parafed, which is a group who, uh, they help people get to the Paralympics. So we're working with them to try and get there. So, yeah, that's what the hour in Kaipoi is for. Cool. 
Have you got um, any advice for someone who might be in the same situation as you and want to keep doing what they love? Um, just keep changing things and adapting until you get something that's easy for you. Cool. Thank you, Callan. Next up, Andre brings us the sport update for this episode. Welcome to Andre's Sports Desk, where I deliver her more than sports news. Here are the results for the year 7 and 8 Hagley Winter Sport. The football team fought a brave fight against Chisnerwood. As the whistle blew for the end of the first half, the score was nil all. However, in the second half, Chisnerwood was set on fire as they scored six goals before the end of the match. The player of the day for the football team was Jackson. Now to Netball. Netball A also played another Chisnerwood team. They came close, only losing 21-16. Their player of the day was the whole team. Netball B looked for their first win of the season against the top of the table, Casebrook. They were unlucky, only losing 19-10. Their player of the day was also the whole team. Next week, we will bring you the result for the final week of the Hagley Year 7 and 8 sport. Thanks for watching. Riley Williams is on our student council here at Home Warden. Let's hear the latest council news from Riley. Rightio, let's go. I'm Riley and I'm going to tell you what's happening so far in the junior council. This week, we were looking at the uniforms. Yes, uniforms. And this is what happened this week on the debate. There was a well said debate on either only removing one or two pieces of the uniform or the entire uniform in itself. The only problem was that Miss Sim, the teacher that was in charge of it, could not be present due to having a meeting with a parent. Um, let's have a look at some of the things that were said. Okay. If we are going to have a uniform, at least have it cheap. We shouldn't have school socks. We, the ranking cone is the only thing bad thing about the uniform. We don't even need the uniform in total. It is impractical. And it would be good if there was no uniform because then people can express themselves and make themselves less sure of themselves. Smart. So in the nutshell, it didn't go well that week because, well, there was actually nothing that actually happened. Don't know why. Just didn't happen, didn't click. And in the second week, last week, we, yeah, um, nothing just happened at all. Well, there was no um, junior council in itself because there was um, the inter school basketball competition. So I'm Riley, and this is my update. That's it for this episode. Look out for our next episode in a few weeks. Next time there will be some highlights from the Kapahaka and also we will meet a staff member who has represented New Zealand in several sporting codes. Plus heaps more. We'll see you then. Kake te anō.